How's it going, guy? Listen, this message is directly, specifically for you, and I didn't feel like texting and typing back, and you know I use this medium to communicate directly sometimes. And I want to say I agree with you 100%, totally. And um, when you can see the invisible, remember in uh, Hebrews chapter 11, uh, 27, or something like that, talk about Moses and him being able to see the invisible, meaning the creator. He could see him see his works, see his manifestation, and so forth. And then 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 11 tells us that it's not what you can see that's, uh, that's everlasting. It's the invisible that's everlasting. So this whole thing that I'm talking about, general and soldier and warfare, I'm not meaning it in the physical sense because that's temporary. It's not even real. It's real to a degree, but what's invisible is everlasting and more real. So this war we fight spiritually, for which we are all generals, it's something that we really need to take to heart. One person told me, he says, why are you always making you know, war references? Because we're at war. Anything that's trying to take your spiritual life, that means you're fighting for it. And this is a war. I look at it in no small terms. So having said that, I agree with what you, what you're saying, what you just said. I'm with it. Let's do it. What happened with us in our conversation is, uh, 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 let's say, uh, a real-time example of his power happening in the invisible us coming together and coordinating and putting something together that's going to help people okay and that's amazing and the fact that we can see it is even more beautiful so I will holler at you later and from our favorite movie hold the line stay with me Rah!